Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the Shelly 2 interface. I've just set this up on a wall. I've just done a previous video on the actual hardware side. And I wanted to show you uh, the settings in here and also how we send a um, post request to it to turn it on and off. Uh, and thanks to Rob at the hookup for, uh, for that information. Um, so as you can see, we've got two relays. We're just logged into the web page of the Shelly here. I've got it on the Wi-Fi and uh, we can turn each relay on the blue button and that will shortly tell us what the uh, the wattage is. A standard light bulb in there. Nothing actually connected to the, um, the second relay at the moment. Uh, but if we go and have a look at internet and security, so we've got Wi-Fi client mode, which is where I am now, connected to my uh, IoT. Um, configure it to be an access point, which is uh, how it is in the default. Restrict the login, so you can actually tell it to use a username and password, and you can connect it to the Shelly Cloud, so that's currently off. Uh, if you have a look at safety, you can go and configure a maximum power protection. By default, it's set to um, 1800 watts. I think I've only got light bulbs connected to mine, so I've configured it for 150 watts. Uh, and then if we go and look at settings, there's a heap of information in here. Um, so you can either configure the device type to be a relay or a roller shutter. Uh, button type, um, you can set it for a momentary toggle or edge switch. And you can see the settings for each there. So push on, push off. Uh, and this is how my previous video had it configured just for a toggle switch. Uh, time zone and geolocation, I won't go into there because it'll show you where I am. Your firmware update, um, I actually had to do a firmware update. It was several months old when I first got it and that was a completely seamless process. Um, a little icon came up on the GUI to tell me that the firmware was out of date. Hit update and uh, yeah, no issues there. Um, integration for the IoT protocol, you don't actually need this on. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that does. I need to read up about it. Um, you don't need it on for API control. Um, factory reset, self-explanatory, and reboot the device. And it comes up fairly quick. Now, one thing I did notice when I first connected it is that the web page that's being dished up by the Shelly, um, when it's in um, standalone mode, so when the web server, I found that that was taking about a minute and a half for that to actually appear on my phone. Um, so that appears to be quite slow. The device itself comes on very quickly and reboots very quickly, typically like less than 10 seconds, maybe even less than 5 seconds. Um, but uh, if we go and look, we've got additional settings for each channel here. So in the settings, we can actually set the power on default mode. So whether we want the particular device connected to channel one to be on when there has power, off, restore last mode, or just track what the switch is doing. Um, I've just got mine set to off. And then the button type there, currently I've got that set as a standard toggle switch. Uh, if you have a look at my previous video, um, you've got timers as well, auto off, auto on. And um, yeah, it's actually, uh, it's quite well laid out. Your weekly schedule. Uh, and this is kind of cool, your sunrise, sunset hours. So enable sunrise, sunset. And you can see the bar went green up there, it's saved. And um, you can go through and uh, turn these on and off. So that's actually quite cool because you get a light um, to come on. I'll just go back to there. I uh, get a light to come on uh, at sunset and then off at sunrise automatically. Um, so yeah, that's the overview of the actual interface. Um, what I want to show you now is uh, just that um, API. Um, we'll come into Shelly 1, Relay 1 here in my, this is um, Postman, which is a, an add-on for uh, Chrome. And I use this if I'm doing any API testing. So we're sending a post request to the IP address of the, div unit, of the unit, Relay forward slash zero. And again, um, thanks to Rob at the hookup for this information. 
uh, and in the body we're going turn equals on or turn equals off so at the moment it uh, channel one is off so if I go uh, channel one and channel two is actually relay zero and relay one so if I turn that to on and go send and bring this up you'll see the response uh, is valid true so that's actually come on now and then all I do is do off send is valid true and then this here should go off uh, very shortly so it has again I've got the relay 2 there so um, if we go and look at the body and bring this one up and we turn that one on send is valid true that should come on shortly it does and off send so in this one we're just doing the IP address sending a post request to forward slash relay forward slash one with turn equals on or off. Um, the last thing that Rob's got on his GitHub page is the um, the status which is reporting the power usage uh, back to uh, Home Assistant. So we can see here what I will actually do is go and turn that on so we're drawing some power. And we've got some power being used now, and I'll send that request again. And we can see down here now, meters, power. Um, so you can pull that out in JSON, uh, 56.09 watts. So, um, yeah, that's a quick overview of the Shelly interface and how to uh, do some post requests using Postman in Chrome to turn the device on and off. Um, some affiliate links down the bottom for the Shelly 1 and Shelly 2 at Amazon. Unfortunately, they're sold out at the moment, um, but hopefully uh, they should have stock by the end of October. Uh, thanks for watching.